Welcome back to World Cinema YouTube channel, in this video, we will bring you a recap of the world famous American science fiction movie Arrival released in 2016. The movie builds on the linguistics professor leading an elite team of investigators when gigantic spaceships touch down in 12 locations around the world. Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to watch new movies. Arrival is a 2016 American science fiction drama film directed by Dennis Villeneuve. It is based on the 1998 short story, <laughs> Story of Your Life, by Ted Chang. Life. Like the day they arrived. The film begins with a brief and emotional recollection of esteemed linguist Dr. Louise Banks, who lives alone in depression, with past memories after her daughter, Hannah dies at a teenage of an incurable illness. Twelve extraterrestrial spacecraft hover over various locations around the Earth. Affected nations utilize military and scientific experts to monitor and study them. Dr. Louise Banks was recruits by the U.S. military Colonel Weber to study and communicate with the extraterrestrial beings inside spacecraft in Montana. I'm Colonel G.T. Weber from the Intelligence. Pack your bags. Physicist Ian Donnelly teams up with Louise to research. Louise, this is uh, Ian Donnelly. Louise Banks? Ian Donnelly. Priority one. What do they want? Where are they from? Climbing to the spacecraft, Louise gets a fear because the gravity direction changed but Donnelly helps her to step up. Inside the spacecraft, Louise and Donnelly try to communicate with seven-limbed two aliens, whom they call Heptapods Donnelly nicknames them, Abbott and Costello. At the first attempt, after hearing the aliens' sounds, Louise concludes that the sounds do not match any human language. At the second attempt, Louise decides to communicate in a written language and she uses a whiteboard. Suddenly, they were draw circular symbols by black inky substance on the front separation glass. Louise and Donnelly try to research and decode the complex written language with circular symbols of the aliens and also try to introduce vocabulary to them. They share the results and information with other nations around the world where the spacecraft have landed. I was thinking Abbott and Costello. Yeah, I like it. Louise starts to have flashback like visions of her daughter. Louise is constantly pressured to pop the question of why the heptapods came to Earth. When Louise is able to establish sufficient shared vocabulary to ask why the aliens have come, they answer with a statement that could be translated as offer weapon. China interprets this as a use weapon. This interpretation prompts to break off communication with spacecraft and increased tensions lead to war. What does it say? Offer weapon. We don't know if they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Our However, culture, Louise alerts for the possibility of the word meaning something else, such as tool. Meanwhile, rogue soldiers plant a bomb in the spacecraft. Unaware, Louise and Donnelly re-enter the alien vessel, and the aliens give them a more complex message. Just before the bomb explodes, one of the aliens ejects Donnelly and Banks from the vessel, knocking them unconscious. When they wake, the military is preparing to evacuate in case of retaliation, and the craft moves beyond reach. Tonight, China to declare war against the aliens. Russia and Sudan. 
Sudan are thought to be following China's lead. However, China's General Xing issues an ultimatum to his local alien craft, demanding that it leave China within 24 hours. Russia, Pakistan, and Sudan follow suit. Communications between the international research teams are terminated as worldwide panic sets in. Despite the fiasco, Louise and Ian continue their research through the complex notes. The physicist notices that the word time is spread all over the alien's final message. That clue leads Louise to suspect that the full message is split between the 12 spacecraft. We need to talk to the other sites. We need to help them with what they've gotten from the other heptapods. In case you don't remember, we're blacked out. Louise goes alone to the spacecraft through the transport pod. Abbott has been mortally injured as a result of the explosion. Costello explains that they have come to help humanity, for in 3,000 years they will need humanity's help in return. Finally, Louise realizes the weapon is the alien's language. With the heptapod's language, humans will be able to change their perception of time. Unlike humankind, the heptapods don't have a linear perception of time. They see it all as a whole, past, present, and future are all the same. That's why the symbol of time was spread all over their message. At the moment, Louise is the only person that can experience time the way heptapods do. How can you know the future? Louise returns to the military camp and explains to them that the aliens meant tool, instead of weapon. What happened? The weapon is their language. They China's defense forces General Shang is the key to stopping the war. Louise calls his private number through CIA agent Halpern's satellite phone secretly, and recites his late wife's dying words, explaining the reason for the arrival of heptapods. Got your bags? Drop the phone now. Xie once Xing realizes that Louise is telling the truth about the heptapod's message, the Xing announce that they are standing down, and release their twelfth of the message. The other countries follow suit, and the twelve spacecraft depart. Donnelly expresses his love for Louise. Louise knows that she will agree to have a child with him despite knowing their fate, Hannah will die from an incurable disease, and that Donnelly will leave them after she reveals that she knew this. Something remarkable. Something not even my superior.